A few years ago, I described a small L-match antenna coupler, suitable for use with in-fed wire antennas. It's given good service, but there are limitations. With only three different coil ranges, there's some frequencies and antenna lengths that it won't match. Also, the small RF chokes in it aren't necessarily as low loss as other forms of coil. For instance, air round or on an iron powder toroid. And so I've built another, a bit bigger, but with a much wider range of inductance selection. Instead of just three induction settings, there's 15 in half microhenry increments up to 7.5 microhenry. That should be good for at least 7 to 30 megahertz. And you might be lucky and match it with certain wire lengths on 3.5 megahertz as well. There's not a lot inside. The capacitor, like with the previous L-match, is a transistor radio variable capacitor with both sections connected. The inductors are all in series with shorting switches so that unwanted ones are shorted out. Their values again, 0.5, 1, 2 and 4 microhenry. So that selection is like a binary process and you can get up to 7.5 microhenry's inductance in 0.5 microhenry increments. Wires should be kept as short as possible when building the L-match to avoid stray inductances. Another thing you want to do is test for continuity between the inner of the coax from the transceiver to the antenna. The inductors and the switches will be in series with all that and the resistance should be very low, i.e. well under an ohm. I've found that some very cheap switches from eBay can be erratic and their resistance can be many ohms. If you have one of those faulty switches in your antenna coupler, then the loss will be significant. And don't overlook overheating when you're soldering them. Too much heat can cause the connections to become erratic. I've never seen male PL259s in this form, where they can be screwed to a panel. So I used a BNC male instead. In theory, that could plug straight into an FT817. Though, I don't like subjecting the socket to too much load and it also makes some of the controls on the front panel less accessible. For that reason I use a PL259 to BNC female adapter. Just to summarise, the L-Match described is ideal for portable or QRP work. I'd highly recommend it as a construction project that will greatly improve the usefulness of your amateur station. If you want to find out more about QRP, especially operating, then have a look at Minimum QRP. It's a Kindle ebook available for just $5 US or equivalent currencies in other countries. Jump onto Amazon and search Minimum QRP or visit vk3ye.com and click on the link.